Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me today. I'm Ambassador Chantrell Davis of Preach Be Your Voice, Not an Echo, bringing you the right word in due season segments. Apples of gold and pictures of silver, and according to the word, a bite, a, a bite for the babes that will soon require and desire a full meaty plate. Um, I'm going to move on forth in this word, the right words of due season. How good it is. I read the scripture and I will always have the scripture uh, where the right word in due season came from in the word of God. When the Lord put this on my heart and mind that some people have to receive small bites of teachings um, and they would desire them to have and desire a full meaty plate. Like it or not, that's the way it is. And people do not take offense in needing bites because all of us needed bites. Oh, that's a revelation. All of us needed bites to grow, but to where we have a plate. But even as you grow, he's going to have to give you stuff in small portions uh, because it's a new season and a new path. OK, I'm going to get right into this. This is the apple of gold. Right word number five. And that word is care. C-A-R-E. Simple. I want to start with the definition and go into what I was shown. Definition of the word care. Activity involved in maintaining something in good working order. The work of caring for or attending to someone or something. And we're going to say why this is important. Because what then the Lord say, take no thought, take no care, take no thought. Don't, you know, don't be anxious for anything. He cares for you. Cast your cares upon me, for I care for you. So what is that saying when he said that when he said you care? If the definition of the word care is this, and, and I'm not finished with it yet. It is a longer definition. If he tells you, cast your cares on him for he cared for you. Definition of care. He maintains. Activity involved of maintaining something. He maintains you in good work and order. The work of caring for or attending to. He cares for and attends to you. Next definition. Attention and managing. Uh, next definition of care. Attention, attention and managing implying responsibility for safety. He's responsible for your safety. There should be no thought of how you're going to make it, how you're going to eat, what you're going to drink, how you're going to be safe in these tumultuous times. Next definition, a cause for feeling concerned. You shouldn't even be concerned about nothing. But what he, and not, not even concerned, just do what he told you to do. Don't be concerned about what he told you to do. Do what he told you to do. He's supposed to be concerned for you. You ain't supposed to be concerned for your kids. He's supposed to be concerned for them because he'll bless them to a thousand generations. He take care of you and them. Okay? Care. Cast it away. Okay? Next definition of care, anxious feeling. And I mean, you already know what the scripture says. I'm going to go to these scriptures, though. An anxious feeling. So to, to care about something is that when somebody say, take care, no thank you. See how the enemy teaches you to speak contradictory? Because he knows your word have power. It doesn't matter what you meant. It doesn't matter what you meant. Your words have power. That's how you get people into contradictory speaking. Oh, my headache is killing me. My back is killing me. Girl, I died laughing. Y'all better cancel them words out. That's how the enemy get many. It doesn't matter what your intent were. Your words have power. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. Out of the good treasures, you're going to speak good things or you're going to speak bad. Watch what you're saying. Quit saying stuff like, oh, you know what I mean. No, it's what you say. Take no thought saying. You take that thought and then you say it. Let me get back on course. It's an anxious feeling. And you know the Lord, word of God tells us to be anxious for nothing. But with all things in prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your request known unto God. You don't concern about nothing. And don't be anxious or worried about your kids. And people think if you ain't worried about your kids, you ain't no mother. The devil is a lie. I don't worry. I pray. I will submit them and bring, Lord, my son God redeemed. He your. You said a thousand generations. The seed of the righteous are delivered. I put remember his word and I keep going. Okay? And I watch him deal with it. The next definition, judicious, oh, judiciousness in avoiding harm or danger. You don't have to try to do it. You have to be led by his voice. Take no care. Take no thought. This is the, still the definition of the word care, okay? To provide care for, to feel concern or interest, you don't need to do that. To be concerned with. You're not supposed to be concerned with that. You just do what he tells you to do. Again, take no thought of what you're going to eat or drink. Be anxious for nothing but all things through prayer and supplication. Keep your eyes on me. Lift your eyes to the hill from where it comes to your help. Just do what I say. He knows what you have need of. That's why when we do ask, we ask for what we want. He said he already supplies all you need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So that's done. Why are you asking for what you need? He already know you need it. Tell him what you want. 
He will grant you the desires of your heart as you delight yourself in him. The next definition of care, to prefer or wish to do something. You're sitting there wishing. You want a house? You'd like to take a vacation because you never had one? Make your request known unto him and then keep your eyes and keep doing what he tells you to do. Okay? To be in charge of. <laughs> this is what going to get me there, y'all. To be in charge of, act on, or dispose of. You don't get to dispose of nobody. You ain't in charge of you. You ain't even in charge of either. You're not in charge of you. You're not. We have free will, but we belong to him. That's why I said many people have received his salvation, but many have not received his lordship. You receive salvation, but he ain't lording over you. You better catch it. Okay? In charge of you with an act on concerns of you and will dispose of all opposing you. Oh, that's a word. The Lord is in charge of you with all acts concerning you and he will dispose of all opposing you. That last definition, be in charge of, act on, or dispose of. That's care. Catch that? Last definition of care, to be in charge of, he in charge of you. Cast all our cares on you for he cares for you. Act on or dispose of. So he is in charge of you. He will act on all that concerns you. The Lord will perfect that what concerns me. Sooner or later. Y'all know that song. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> and he will dispose of all opposing you. Now let's read 1 Peter 5 and 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Care with continually. Care with constant. Psalms 55 and 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. He sustains you. That's care. Maintain. Management. Psalms 138. Concerns. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. Forsake not the works of thy own hands. He said, forsake not the works of your own hands. That's David speaking. You're the work of his hand. Don't forsake the work of your hand, Lord. You made and you will burn. You said it. Lord, you said you made me and you will burn me. Don't forsake the works of your hand. He perfects that concerns you. That's Psalms 138. Philippians 4 and 6. Be anxious for nothing. Be careful. That means anxious. Be careful for nothing. Don't wrap plastic on your furniture so it can last. Wear it out. He'll give you some more. Don't tell your kids to sit on the floor because they go wear the couch out. Wear it out. He will get them some more. <laughs> Don't be ringing out. Oh, Lord Jesus. There's some people that do this. Don't be rinsing out paper towels and wringing them and drying them in the sun like they clothes. He will get you some more. Be careful for nothing. But in all things, be proud. <laughs> I'm getting off. Because <laughs> I'm picturing stuff in my mind right now. I'm kind of animated. Uh, but in everything, be prayer by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Okay? Don't be careful for nothing. Don't be half filling up your toothbrush. You can't even barely got no toothbrush. <laughs> Because I see some stuff I can't even believe. He's going to take care of you. You barely got toothpaste on there to clean your teeth. He's going to get you some more. Be careful for nothing. You want another cup of coffee, pour another cup. <laughs> Rest in him. Take no thought. Take no thought. Say no thought. I'm going to read this scripture here. Because a, a lot of things is going on is the enemy trying to get you to take his thought. That worry, worry. Then you all of a sudden say it out your mouth. You better pull that thought down. All of a sudden you're concerned about stuff you ain't supposed to be concerned about. Any thought of worry is not from the Lord. Take that thought and lead it, teach it to submit to Christ. Lead it away captive. Every high thing that exhausts itself against the true knowledge. His true knowledge tells you not to care for nothing. His true knowledge tells you not to be anxious. His true knowledge tells you not to be careful. His true knowledge tells you not to be concerned. His true knowledge tells you not to be concerned with what you're going to eat, what you're going to drink, what you're going to be clothed with. For he knows you have need of all these things. So anything that's telling you that you're going to run out ain't him. That ain't his voice. And if you don't have the word of God in you, you don't know that ain't his voice. Worry is not from him. So, fearful of suffering lack is not from him. Take that thought and teach it to submit to Christ. But you got to have the word to do that. Okay? 
That's why it gets in. Because any thought that you don't pull down is going in your heart. Every thought you let fly that you don't pull down is entered your heart and it's developing. So you can't afford not to cast it down. You can't fight thoughts with thoughts. You fight thoughts with words. Open your mouth. You believe and you speak. Not believe and therefore you think. As a man think it, so is he. But you got to speak it. Life and death, nothing lives until you speak to it. Till you say it. Okay? Matthew 6, uh, 25 through 27. Therefore I say unto you, okay, take no thought. For your life, that is weary and incurring anxiety. What shall you eat? What shall you drink? Nor what you should wear for the body. What you, or what you should put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body more than raiment? Yes, it is. Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor do they gather in the barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? You know we are. Okay, we're the only thing made in his image and likeness. I want you to catch that image and likeness. That means we look like, act like, talk like, be like. Which of you, which of you by taking the thought can add a cubit to his stature? What did he mean by that? Which of you by worrying can add anything to what he's already done? Which of you by worrying and thinking about it can do anything about it to change it? In your own strength, which of you can add anything to what he's already done? What does worrying do for you? Okay? Take no thought. Take no thought. Saying. Okay? Isaiah 49 and 25. But thus said the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contend with thee, and I will save thy children. He going to contend with all that contend with you, and you ain't got to worry about your kids because he's going to save them too. You put him in remembrance of his word. He's going to save you and your kids. But the enemy puts you in doubt because he's over there looking a little rough right now. They're making stupid decisions right now. You made stupid decisions. He saved you. Take no thought. He said, cast all your cares on me, for I care for you. And I, I want you to go back over the definition of this word care. Attention. Uh, uh, just go back over this word care so you can really understand. He said, cast all your cares on him for he cares for you. You are not to be in care at all. So the next time somebody tells you to take care, say no thank you. <laughs> say no thank you. We, we don't carry care. And until you get in that peace, you are to rest in him. That is faith and that is trust. And it's going to be more prevalent in these last days. Because you have to make ways out of no ways. It's going to get that bad. So develop in trusting him to care for you as he has promised. Grace be with you. This is right word and due season. The word number five, care. Grace be with you and I love you all.